are the ingredients for our vegan banana bread. We have four bananas, one sixteenth of a cup of olive oil, one third cup of pitted dates, one three quarter cups of camute flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda. This will go in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for a period of 60 minutes. Okay, as you can see here, I have a lot of bananas over my counter. And what I want to do, I want to get rid of some of them by making a really super easy vegan recipe. It says going to be a banana bread recipe. And all we need is just a few ingredients. This recipe has no sugar at all. So instead of using any type of sugar like brown sugar, I'm using uh, pitted dates. I am also using... Um, a Corazon uh, flour, um, which is really um, Kamut flour. Uh, we have the baking soda, we have the baking powder, we have the uh, organic uh, olive oil, or you can use any other oil as you wish. Uh, here we have the pitted dates, and we also have coconut, unsweetened coconut. Uh, this is the good thing about the, this recipe, it's so easy to make. We're going to show you how to do that right now. First thing you want to do is mash all of your bananas. This could be done fairly fast. Second thing, for our sugar, you're going to heat the, our dates up and you're going to put them to a maximum. And as soon as they start boiling, you're going to smash those two. And you don't want them too liquid. You want them in between. I'm going to show you what they're going to look like very soon. So here is our banana already smashed, and uh, this is the way it's supposed to, to look, not too liquid. All right, now we're going to go and see the uh, dates. This is uh, boiling right now. The minute it's boiling, you start mashing it right away. And you want to leave them not too liquid. There we go. This is uh, almost ready here. It just takes a couple of seconds, really. Okay, once you see it boiling, now I'm just going to turn the uh, temperature off. That's it. We're done. Yes, yeah, so this is what our dates should look like. Okay, now it's still warm, and we're going to put them right into the banana mix right away okay and then we'll continue with the drying the ingredients yes yeah, so this is what our dates should look like okay now it's still warm and we're gonna put them right into the banana mix right away okay and then we'll continue with the drying the ingredients all right, now we're going to add in the flour. We're going to add in the uh, baking powder. The baking soda. The coconut. And the oil. And we're going to mix the whole thing. That's it. That's it. We're done. Now we're ready to mix all the ingredients. There we go. We're going to mix this until it's uh, nice and all mixed and where it's going to be ready to go in the oven. So we're ready to put the mixture in our pan here, well, in our recipient. What I did, I put some uh, grapeseed oil because it, it could stand a very high temperature and I, I added a little bit of um, flour just like that and then we're going to pour our mixture right here and we're going to put it in the oven uh, for one hour at 350 degrees. 
So as previously said, I set the temperature to 350 degrees. And now I'm going to put it uh, in the oven and we're, we, I set it for one hour, exactly one hour, it should be ready. Now, this may look very big to use because I did double portion instead of just one. There we go. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye. One hour has already passed by and... Uh, our bread is ready to get out so we can see how beautiful that is that's a big bread. a double portion and it's now ready to uh, eat as soon as it's gonna cool off we're gonna cut it off we'll show you the, the results in a few seconds